Okay, I definitely have to get a debug my bot for Apple because it really seemed like it just screwed up. It bought. I can say buy. You're not allowed to say buy. Uh, it bought at two sixteen and sold at two fifteen eighty. So that was a little annoying. It seems like it, it just like it didn't have the best day. I have to adjust it. Although most of the losses came from two positions that I personally overrode, so can't blame it, but it's a little asterisk there. Yeah, all the market makers are long Pfizer because every dog's going to have its day, right? Yeah. What am I missing here? 450 for Kababa. Cost. Avago, Amazon, Adobe, Abbott. Oh, we didn't trade Abby at all today. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so there were. Oh, okay, I got it now. So, yes, it was Abby and Time on Semi. Yes, so technically it was profitable today without those two that I personally adjusted. Okay, so we traded $6.4 million today, 6.5, over 35,000 shares. We bought $3.2 million of stock. We sold 3.3. Um, let's see what we paid here in fees. Our bot was only right 45% of the time. It lost $251. Um, It actually made money without um, two positions that I personally overrode. Commission for the day. This is a deeply discounted commission. It's usually over $1,000 a day, but Interactive has cut me a big break thanks to my massive volume. Okay, yeah, only $430. Yesterday we paid $1,100. P&L. Uh, I like it when other, other people tell me how to do my job. $2,000 since inception. Uh, yeah, 
algo doesn't have a specific amount of money it manages it just it has risk there's just, so there's no guidelines but let's see it doesn't look like it takes more than like half a million dollars of risk at any given time so let's see 22 million 28 million 36 million uh, 44 million it's traded 50 million dollars so far I don't care about the commissions because ultimately it is not hard for me to uh, get the commissions to zero. So net of commissions, the profit's really good. So yeah, fees are 4,500, 23, 23, 19, so 42. 51. I didn't even calculate it on this day. So yeah, it would be about seven thousand a profit for a week, which is you know rough. You know, I don't know on a levered basis because it is running leverage. That's a pretty good return. <laughs> but let's see how it normalizes. Uh, you always have to make it better. I mean, this this. Bot has lots of issues that need to be to be de debugged. The systematic trading is not uh, for everyone, but yeah, I think I think you want beta neutral. For example, this thing is taking lots of beta risk that I don't like. I'm not, it's basically not doing any logging, but it logs to the screen. But it's uh, it's not really writing to a file. It will. It will. It's a lot to uh, lot to do. Building a good system like this, pretty pretty in pretty big endeavor. You can be market neutral, but the you don't need beta as vol. I mean, you you get vol from the stock. You just keep adjusting the beta. So you'll just have some spy position. What's echo? What does that mean, John? What's echo? No, oh, blob, I think it'll always be there a little bit. So short calls, Max. Yeah, terminal output. Yeah, yeah, the man. We we have a good relationship with the exchanges, so we'll be co-locating as well. I'm not sure it's going to change our profits that much. It will increase the complexity. I think the biggest thing you could do is have your own broker dealer without routing order flow, because then you you have no payment for order flow problems, and you have no. Um, Spoofing problems or uh, you know other internal market makers. So we're going to get all that set up as of now. I'm going to take a break. It's been a rough, rough day. I was in the office. <laughs>